forward so I can talk and I um, don't have to hold my phone. So anyways, I wanted to jump on and kind of go on with my series that I'm doing right now, um, how to influence people. And so today's chapter is on nurturing people. So I really want to talk about how to nurture people and more importantly, like why. And so this whole video is basically going to be like going between how and why to do it. Okay. Hey Gabe. Um, so, and this is kind of like how to influence your team, but if you're on right now and, or you're watching my replay and you don't necessarily have um, a business, this also could be like maybe with people that you're working with, your church or different things. So it's still very relevant. Okay. Um, so basically, um, the whole thing, think about a dog, right? So whenever you have a pet or a baby even like, you know, you have to feed the baby or the puppy and you have to give them toys and lots of love. Right. And only then will they start to like, you know, you have to nurture them. Right. And after you do that, then they'll love you and they'll follow you and they'll be trusted. You know, you'll be trustworthy of them. So it's kind of like that. People are just like dogs. And so it's kind of funny, but like, you know, if you've ever worked anywhere that the person did not respect you, um, you probably didn't work as hard or, you know, eventually you're probably quit. Hopefully you quit. Um, nobody deserves to be, to feel like that. Right. So our job in life is to nurture people, um, and you know, just love on them. And so that's what I'm going to teach you guys how to do. Um, so the nature of nurture is basically that people need to be cared for emotionally, physically, um, and that, you know, the emotional side is literally just as important as the physical side. Um, it's more, you literally cannot just feed somebody and then expect them to love you. Like you also have to give them attention, you know? Um, so in order to be an influencer in somebody's life, you have to start by nurturing them. Like this is the first step. Okay. Um, if you don't like somebody, they're going to know, like, even if you're fake to them, it's kind of like a vibe, a vibration thing. Like if you don't like them, like they're going to sense it and it's just not going to be good. And so start by loving people. Okay. Even if there's somebody at work that you just don't like, write down a list of everything that, you know, maybe you do like. So frenemies, <laughs> maybe, but maybe they'll eventually start to become friends. Right. Um, and so we must really love people in order for this to work. And if there's just somebody that you just don't get along with, don't be fake. I mean, obviously don't be mean to them, but figure out a way that you can resolve that issue um, and work from there, right? Um, if you nurture others, but allow them to become dependent on you, you're really hurting them, not helping them. That's another point in this that I'm going to teach you how not to do. Um, because I think a lot of parents, what happens is they do everything for their children or I don't know, like they, they just don't create an independence with their children and that's not good either. And that has to do with your team as well. And so like if you're a manager or a team leader, don't do everything for people, like teach them how to fish. Don't just give them fish, right? Um, super, super important. Um, we are influenced most by those who make them feel best about themselves. So the process starts with just making people feel super important. I love that. Um, so one thing, focus on giving rather than getting. This is also just kind of something that I don't think that people do. Um, I feel like when we have friendships or even like a business, I see a lot of network marketing like mishaps where it's more about what you receive out of it rather than focusing on like actually helping people, which is one reason I did choose doTERRA because I feel like everybody needs oils. You know, there's certain things out there like handbags or um, makeup or whatever. Not everybody necessarily needs those things with oils. Yeah. Like men, men don't need those things with oils. Everybody needs them. And yeah, sure. I, it is my business. It's my livelihood, but if I never made a single dollar, I would still be sharing these oils and my life, like the way that I live because it works. Like this is, I'm literally helping people. And I'm also able to do God's work with this too. I do feel like God gave us these oils um, to kind of get away from what man has ruined with pharmaceuticals. So, you know, and, and whatever your purpose is, you know, find a way to actually help people where it's not necessarily benefiting you all the time. Like, you know, make people feel loved. Um, so your goals in others is growth and independence. Super important, you know, we want people to be able to live without us and you know that kind of 
sucks in a way because sometimes you'll build somebody up and then it's their season to go. Like they don't need you anymore and that, it kind of hurts sometimes. But we're not meant to necessarily be placeholders in somebody's life. Like we're meant to be like stepping stools. Um, so, you know, get to get that person to a level where they don't need you, where they can grow even higher than you. That's even my teammates. Like I always joke, I'm like, I hope this person reaches a rank higher than me, but it's true. Like, I think that that's great. If I can build somebody to a place where they're even higher rank than I am and it's happened before, I love it. It's, it makes me so happy. So yeah, that's, that's what it is. Um, a nurturing influence is always a giver. Okay, so if you want to be a nurturer or somebody who creates influence, you have to give, okay? And I'm not saying like money or whatever, like some, most of the time it's your time. Um, you can't just like jump on Facebook and then like, oh, okay, well I talked to them today. Like you literally have to give them, you know, kind of create a closeness, right? So the first thing is love. We have to love people and even your enemies, we need to love people. Okay. Um, without love, there can be no connection, no future, and no success together. And when people say that they want love, when they want to feel love or be in love, a lot of times they just say they want connection. We just need connection with people. We literally cannot survive without each other. Um, and we all need to feel valued, right? Um, if you need to feel valued, don't you think that we should be creating value for other people? Um, and also... Something that people forget is that we have to show and tell people. Um, I had read a story before about how this this husband and wife, they, they actually divorced. And somebody later on said, well, why did you divorce? And the wife was like, he never told me he loved me. And the man later on said, well, I married her. I thought that that was enough. Obviously, it's not. You know, so our actions and our words, we have to tell them daily even. Okay? So... Just tell the people around you, tell your workers, maybe don't tell your coworkers, I love you, man, <laughs> but, you know, show them with your actions that you care about them. Um, you can totally do that. We have to have respect for people too. Um, respect is receiving from people. And so, you know, if you respect somebody, then they're automatically, or they should, you know, maybe not automatically, but they will eventually have respect for you. Um, we also have to give people a sense of security. Hey, Barbara. Um, you know, and the security goes in with that they just feel comfortable with you. And so if you make them feel like they can trust you, like say that there's an issue, I don't know, that they're going on with a family, say somebody gets, tells you a secret, that you're not going to go and like shout it to the world or like tell everybody or tell anybody for that matter. You know, um, help let people come to you and give them that sense of security. Okay. And then the people will want to do their best. Especially like if you are a leader and they come to you and you really listen to them, they're going to want to work harder for you. Um, atmosphere and culture is also everything. So like when I was a teacher, a good example would be I always let kids do their own thing. So if they were hungry, I let them eat. If they wanted to take their shoes off, they could take their shoes off. Um, a lot of teachers are not like that, but I felt like if they were, if they needed to do something for themselves, they're going to learn a lot better, right? Um, same with your team environment. So, you know, you create your culture and you create your time. So whatever you want, you know, the air around you, the atmosphere, you can change it and you can make it better. Um, but it's, you know, what do you want? And for me, I want people who are happy and want to have fun and you know, get things done. Like I'm a very accomplished person and I want people, I want to attract people who want to get stuff done too. Always make sure that you recognize people too. So say that you're, you're a manager and like one of your workers does a really good job and you're just like, okay, good job. You have them on the bat. That's not necessarily enough. This is like, you know, make sure that you really like, Hey, you did a great job. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you're on my team. You know, something like that. It can be very simple, but like what I like to do is send out cards and thank you cards. Um, on my team, I like say that I get a rank advancement or different things from the people. I send them little gifts too. Um, you know, just however their love language is. But I love sending gifts and thank you notes. It's really, really good. Um, Yelp. <laughs> um, and always encourage people. They. Um, it's kind of like if you've ever been in sports or anything. If your parents didn't show up. 
Um, a lot of times, you know, maybe you didn't play as well, but if your parents showed up and your friends and they were encouraging you, you played a lot better, right? So, and everybody around you always encouraged them to do their best and, you know, they can face impossible things whenever they feel like you actually like care. So anyways, okay, so let's talk about how to actually become a nurturer, even if you don't feel like you are one. Um, the first way is commit to people. So say that you're a mom um, and you don't feel like that natural loving mominess. Um, this will be a great one. Oh, Barbara, it's probably because I'm out um, in the, I'm driving, but it should be fine once I get out. Um, I don't know. I hope I'm not buffering for other people. We'll see. Um, so yeah, commit to people. Number two, believe in them. Believe in your people. Um, because if you don't believe in them, they're not going to believe in themselves. It's, it really is that easy. Um, number three, be accessible to them. So like with my team, like people know they can call me anytime. Even if I don't answer, like definitely call me and text me. And I always get back to them as soon as I can. You know, but people know that I care for that expect, right? Um, give with no strings attached. So just give to people and love on them even if you're not going to get anything back from them. That's that's what love really is. Um, give people opportunities to grow. So I mentioned don't make people independent on you. So give them actual jobs. Like give people a chance to be independent. Even if they don't do a, as good of a job as you right away, they will. Like people will get it. Don't be perfectionist. This is something that I'm having to let go of. Um, but let people step up and figure it out. Like they can do it. Um, and also just lift them to that higher level. Um, that's really all that we can do. So I hope that this was a good thing for you guys that I wasn't like rambling on. I will be posting this on my YouTube channel. Um, so I'll be posting that link in there. Follow me and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would be great. And I'll also post my group as well. I, I do a lot of like, you know, stuff like this in my group as well. So I hope y'all have a good day. And if y'all have any other advice to add to this, you can totally can comment.